Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Rivals, and we realize it's been a hot minute since we've done a pickup video. It's been a while. I think the last one we did was probably on a live stream. Yeah, we did the last couple of them on a live stream. So we have a few things. We have some games. We have yep. some other miscellaneous stuff. Yep. A few games that we picked up because we watched some live streams and we liked what we saw. Yep. So let's get this started. I'm going to start off slow. Let's and start off This is something slow. you picked up. I haven't played it yet. We have Darkness 2. Darkness 2. You grabbed it because it was dirt cheap and you should probably get Darkness 1. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably should. But probably you know what? Should. It looked cool on the back. It looked very survival horror-ish. And uh, yeah. something that never happens on this channel is that the tag's still on the front. Yeah, we, we literally we, grabbed it hours ago. Yes, we always, 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 always clean our games. They do not go on the shelf with a sticker on them. They get washed completely and then just for our own enjoyment, we stick it on the inside of the case so we know how much we paid for it. Reference. So, so if Darkness 2 is eventually worth $5, we're like, oh my god, remember when it was $3.95? Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Darkness 2. And let us know in the comments if you guys have played it, what I've you thought of it. I've heard good things. I've yeah. heard good things. Yeah, I have yep. too. Yep. So it looked like a cool game and we didn't have it, so it's ours now. Another one I picked up. Which made you, in turn, put back two games, which I always well, feel yeah. bad about. Well, yeah, it's uh, Death Smiles for the Xbox 360, and it's a shmop, shmop. or a bullet hell. Uh, there is a difference. I don't really know the difference technically I've myself. I've it explained before. Yes, I have too. And it's just a more intense Cor shmop. Correct me in the comments or educate me in the comments. Well, I feel like that's what it is. From yep. what I heard explained was it was a more intense Shmup. It was bullet hell is just yeah. like non-stop. This was not cheap. Not cheap. For an Xbox 360 game, we paid 40 bucks, 39.95. Yeah. And uh, looking on the back, and I'm like, geez, these these shmup games or bullet hell games, they tend to go up and just they continue really to climb do. in price. And it's a popular art style too. Yeah. So I I really think it. Well, here I am peeling another we kinda, sticker. We kind of gambled there, maybe a little bit on the price. I we didn't even check. I did. I looked it up on eBay while we were in the store, and, and they were going. Go they were going for a bit more, with a the shipping. More? Yeah, they were going well, for. Well, with the shipping. They were going for more for sure. So yeah, yeah, it was complete. We picked it up. I'm not sad we did. We haven't tried it yet, so maybe ask me when we tried it. Maybe I'll be sad about <laughs> it. I don't know. All What's right. Next. Next. Let's go with Trapped. Trapped. For the PS2. This is kind of a horror. I don't even know how to explain it, but you. This one was pretty cheap, too, huh? No. No? Not that cheap. It was probably... Is this one of your eBay purchases? Yes. I'm like, I'm looking through our credit card statement and I'm like, eBay, 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 eBay. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, I know why my husband picked this one up. That was minty. Minty. That's the same thing that's on the cover, too. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the, the whole thing of the game is kind of puzzly, but it looks you're trying cool. to um, kill all these attackers or people that are attacking you or whatever yeah. by setting traps. And yeah, if you look on the back. I know, it looks It's very awesome. gothic there. And yeah, it's pretty cool. There was a. Uh, it originally, this series I think started on the PS1, and I can't remember the name of it. I don't know if it was also called Trapped, but maybe, maybe. I'm not sure. I really can't remember, but I, I, I don't have those games because they are really expensive. And they are. You probably prefer me to buy that one. I do. A Wii game. It is Mad Dog McCree Gunslinger Pack. There is, I do believe, three games on this thing. It looks hella fun. Includes fine. three games on one disc. Mad Dog McCree, Mad Dog 2, Last Gold. Is that it? I can't see it. Yeah, The Last Gold and Last Bounty Hunter. Yep. This looks like a fun party game. It's a light like, gun game. Yeah, well, well that's what I'm saying. As far as we go. Like, pass it around, kind of see if you can do better gun. than the, you know, yep. the person before you. I think it's, it would be uh, fun. There's some like live action game oh, stuff going cool. on. You see how it's like a movie yeah. scene in there and you get to shoot them. Nice. Yep. 
I like it. You want action? This here is the first live action shooter on Wii. Unholster your Wii remote or Wii zapper and let the bullets fly. Nice. Partner with or challenge up to three friends in multiplayer bounty hunts. That's pretty cool. That would be cool. I think that would be it. That's why I said that would be a fun yeah. party game. Yeah. The next game I picked up because I seen a video on YouTube. Um, Gaming Off The Grid did a Hidden Gems video, yeah, or compilation did. video of a bunch of different channels on YouTube. And I think it was two-part video, was it not? It was a two-part uh -huh. video. Because PlayStation. This one happened to be uh, Gaming Off The Grid's pick. I had seen it before and I wanted to pick it up and then I forgot about it. Yes. And then after I watched the video, I was like, ah, I want to get that. There, mm -hmm. I remember to get it. The Red Star. It kind of has this Contra feel to it a little bit. It kind of does, eh? Yep. It's one of those hidden gems on the PS2. I haven't gotten a chance to play it yet because I only got it a couple of days ago in the mail. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Friday? Well, yeah. it doesn't matter to you. It you won't matter. know because, yeah, only literally a couple days ago. Complete. But yeah, it's complete. It's in great shape. Yeah. And uh, I, I, th I do believe it is multiplayer, two players. So, nice. I mean, you'll have some fun. We will have some fun. Mm -hmm. So, thanks for uh, so making you... that your hidden gem. Next game. Next game, I have no idea, but it was really cheap, which <laughs> probably means it's not good. But the back of it kind of intrigued me. Was this in a bulk bin? It very much could have been in a bulk bin. Yeah. Uh, Raven Squad on the 360. It looks like a kind of a shooter but there looks like there's some strategy or some tactical strategy got some overhead here i'm i really don't know blending fps and rts together creating a new and unique uh, genre genre yeah hmm. i don't know we'll have to let us know in the comments if you guys have played it I haven't and heard of it, so when I see something and it's really, really cheap, there I, I'll take well, a you chance. Know what? You spend more on a cup of coffee now. Exactly. There's been lots of cheap games we've picked up that have been a blast. It's just you never know. Even so. if I spend a couple of hours on a two dollar game, a couple of hours oh, yeah. of entertainment. Exactly. For two bucks. Well worth it. This one here, we gotta <laughs> play. We gotta play. I promise I will. Yeah. I promise. It's Contra, Shattered. Soldier for the PS2. And so it is straight up Contra there. And is it? It looks it looks really good there. It like, does look really good. Yep. <clears throat> I've seen some gameplay on uh, YouTube, which inspired me to go hunt it down. That's awesome. So it's one to two player. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's Contra. Uh, any Contra game I've played with you, I've had a ton of fun. They're hard. I'm assuming this one will be no different. Oh, I assume. It's only a Contra game if you want to swear and throw your controller. Speaking of swearing and throwing <laughs> your controller. A um, little nod to la someone. Last night, we were watching a live stream of Retro Wolf 88, 88. and yep. he was playing a game. and it We assume you own it on GameCube. I assume it was on GameCube. Yeah. We did not pick it up on GameCube, but I did, run it, I did find it out on my hunt today. And I had to grab it, but it's for the PS2. Yeah. It is Super Monkey Ball Deluxe on yeah. the PS2. <laughs> it looks really fun. I can't wait to rage quit. And it. extremely frustrating. Oh. Uh, but it could be a blast. There is a multiplayer mode in it, and uh, it doesn't even look like it has been played. Like, there's no crease in the manual. Oh yeah, it's in great shape. It's in great and shape. So. I don't know. We I, I we've seen gameplay because I watched it for like over an hour. We did. Watched them play it. And it's yeah. I have a blast. It was nothing <laughs> we ever aspired to picking up, and then when we saw you play well, it, we were like, yeah, it was the gameplay that sold me on it because honestly, that cover is not selling me on anything. No. It's not something I'll reach for. No. No. Hey, I'm excited to try it. I'm excited to swear. <laughs> I think. Uh, we get two or three of us down here, four of us, whatever, taking turns. And there will uh, just be swear words and no normal yeah, words. Yeah, we could probably turn that into a drinking game. I have a Game Boy Advance game. I have The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Four Swords on the Game Boy Advance. I just said that. I know. Um, <laughs> Redundant. I was looking for it there for a while, and it was 
not easy to come across around here. They're not. And uh, I kind of got it in a bundle today. Yeah. And because he threw in, he basically donated to the channel, I decided to pick this up. Yeah. And it was fair market value for the game, and then he got me another deal on top of it. So it can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Nope. Can't go wrong it's with one Zelda's. Of our, it's one of our regular stomping grounds. I yep. swear we go there just as much for the games as we do yep. to talk to talk to them. So. And now we are getting into one specific console. We are. And All right. Uh, absolutely. Every last single item we have. Yes. Yeah, which is four. I was on a hunt for this one right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got the light gun for the original Xbox. It's the Mad Cat Blaster. I mean, obviously we wanted it. Yes. But we also had light gun games we couldn't even play. Yeah, I, I because got... Because we had no light gun. You picked up one for me. Was it House of the Dead? I is know. It, yeah, House of the Dead... I want to say two or three. Maybe. Uh, you'll pop it up, correct me, because I can't remember. But yeah, I haven't even tried it yet because I didn't have a gun for it. We didn't have a gun. <laughs> but I said we would eventually get a gun, and it was a good price. And so we you know, should get that. it wasn't. Yes, it was a good price for eBay. No, I'm saying I, the game. The was game good, was yeah, it was a really good price. Yeah. Uh, the gun, I, I searched. Oh, everywhere. Yeah, locally, I searched and I kept asking everybody that we normally go to on a regular routine to keep an eye out for the gun for me for probably four months. Yeah. Nothing. And so our contacts I finally are came good. across one on eBay, and like we've asked in the past at places we we oh, yeah. shop a lot, and if they find something that we're looking for, they will let us know. Yep. But we just haven't had any luck locally. The this original is Xbox game. Another game we picked up because of Retro Wolf 88. Retro Wolf 88 did a review on the GameCube version of it. Which I really loved because I think it was his first real foray into doing a skit. And it was a blast to watch. Definitely should go check it out. Yes. And we will pop up the link in the description. We will put a link in the description. Yeah. Uh, we'll ask him to make sure it's okay. Yeah. But I can't see why not. But yeah, it's Dr. Muto. Am I saying that Is right? it? I don't know. Mudo. Mudo, Muto. I don't know. It looked like a fun little game. Well, yeah. I watched his review on it. He, of course, has it on the GameCube. GameCube. <laughs> I watched his review on it, and I'm like, that looks fun. Yeah. So, I'm always into bulking up my original Xbox collection. Yeah. So, I had to get it on the original Xbox. Yeah. I, I am my... My GameCube collection is very small. It's small. And we have, we have a pretty good Xbox collection. Yes, and the reason why my GameCube collection is so small, especially here recently, because I only got yeah, I only got into collecting again here over the last couple of years, and over the last year, GameCube has just oh, it's skyrocketed. skyrocketed. It's, it's been ridiculous. I'm gonna I'm gonna show the donation to the channel and then I'm gonna show the last game. So I have an original Xbox here. You're like, oh Scott, you already got one. Yeah, I know <laughs> You've I already, already got, got one. Several. There's an HDMI mod for the original Xbox now that you can uh, solder in a board and it'll have an HDMI output. So you're getting the actual digi really, digital digital really cool. feed from the Xbox. Yep. And and I know you're saying, well, why are you bothering with that? And I'm like, and this is the reason why I'm bothering with it. Is because I have a fairly big collection of original Xbox games. Mm -hmm. They're still very affordable. So I continue to grab them. But the problem is, they're not all backwards compatible. No. And these things are dying off by the because day. Of those damn capacitors. The clock capacitors leaked. Yeah. So version 1.1 .1 to 1.5, they all have that faulty capacitor. They do. And a lot of them are dying. So the 1.6 is the one that had the corrected capacitor. I don't know which one this one is yet. You know, once this dies, so I have one that I use, every, you know, but I, I, I want to really refurbish one and try to make it last yeah. for another 20 years. And that's a cool uh, video, yeah. too. Yeah. I don't know how long it's going to take. It's going to be fairly costly. It is going to be fairly costly. <laughs> so, project for the year. Teen Titans. It is a one to four player game. Beat em up style, Teen Titans. Yep. It is one of those games that is getting up there, really up there in price, along with Futurama, um... 
uh, Outrun 2006. Yeah. Yep. Uh, some of the horror games like Fatal Frame and Silent Hill are graded oh, up there. Oh, and what's that one game that they had to completely take off? The guy game? Yeah, the guy game. I want the guy game. Yeah. But nothing <laughs> nothing you could even highlight on the channel because of the whole lawsuit behind yeah. it. Well, I want to like talk about it if I ever come across it and get it. Yeah. I want to talk to talk about it and why. But he the one of the guys we talked to all the time at the uh, pawn shop we bought this from, people kept bringing the game up to the... <laughs> saying, this can't be a right price. You <laughs> this made a is mistake. marked wrong. This is priced wrong. No, yeah. they just don't know enough about games. Yeah, but it's expensive. It is a very expensive sticker. game. So... Canadian. Do you want to take a guess here? Canadian dollars, what I pay for this? Or do we want to mention it? I don't care. Mention it. It really doesn't matter. It's expensive. It was like, very expensive. All right, here's your guess. I'm giving you three seconds. Take your guess in your head. Canadian dollars. So, it was $119.95. <laughs> yeah. I know that's a lot of money for a game. But, I'm kind of jumping all in on this original Xbox mm -hmm. collection there. And, uh, you need to grab them now. Because they're only going up in price. They are. Yep. Alright. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us on this quick pickup video. Yeah, and we haven't uh, gotten to do one in a It's little. been a while. Yeah. yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think of the pickups. Anything that you think I might want to chase after based on what I got now. Yeah. Or anything original Xbox that you think uh, you must have. I... We're not necessarily going for a full Xbox collection. I don't think so. But we'll continue to pick away at it and see where it goes. I think I need to nail the expensive ones sooner than later. I think you do too. Yeah. Yeah, they're getting up there. Yep. All right, guys. Until next, next time, guys. time. Cheers. Cheers with water. Cheers with water. <laughs> I got Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Game on.